Okay, I have now scrolled down and I am at Revolve and Join. So the Revolve feature can also be used to create more complex geometry. And you're going to draw a rectangular solid 1.75 by 1.25 by 0.5 thick. Now I've already done that here. You'll need to pause the video probably and get this to happen. Now, we're going to draw this semicircle on the face of the part. So I need to start a 2D sketch. And I'm going to put it right on the face of the part. And this has a line that's one inch long and it's in 0.875. And this line is right on the midpoint of the top of the part. So I'm going to start the line command. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to scroll along until the little dot turns green. I'm not going to click, but I'm going to pull straight down. And I am going to select and I'm going to draw that line right there. Now I'm going to put a dimension on this so that I have a dimension here. And this dimension is supposed to be one inch. And you can see this is way too far down. So I'm going to take a dimension tool and I'm going to click the tip of the line in the top of the box. And this is going to be uh, 1.25, 1. 1. 1.125 inches up. So that will center that line in the box. Then uh, I'm going to kind of cheat here because I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to go right from the middle of this line and I just moved up and down it until a little green ball appeared and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the top and I'll use the trim tool to get rid of this bit on the right hand side so I've got my sketch made and I need to put one dimension on here I forgot from the center line to there and it comes out as 0.875, just like it's supposed to. And it, that happened because I moved across until I found the top of the middle of the top line here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Revolve tool to make this figure right here. So finish my sketch. Revolve. The profile is going to be this inside piece right here. I'm going to choose axis, and that's going to be that line right there. I'm going to say OK, and now I have this revolve on the face of the cube. Oops. There we go. OK. So that's a revolve join. So we're going to save this thing as revolve join. 